Good morning. <clears throat> How you doing people? Well, today we're on the canal. We're back at Coxie's Lock. It's a place that I fished at in July, but I did actually make some bad mistakes with that. There was a lot of weed and I think my bait was getting hidden by the weed. But anyway, <clears throat> today the target fish are big perch and quality roach. We're into winter now, but it's not actually that cold this morning. I was up at 7.30. So let's have a look at Coxie's lock, have a look at the method. The rods are already set up. I've soaked some bread. I've met two really nice anglers who have got this boat running, offered to make me a cup of coffee later. How about that? Let's have a look at the, the uh, canal, shall we? So there we have it. It's quite a dull day, but for perch fishing, that's ideal, really ideal. Still lots of autumn leaves and that on the trees and uh, I'm really looking forward to this and it's really great to have you guys along with me. So the time now has just gone nine o'clock, but I was here, I was here at about quarter to eight. I thought there was gonna be a frost last night, but there wasn't, so that was good. I'm um, quite pleased about that, to be honest. But I don't think we're gonna blank, but the guys were actually saying one of them yesterday hooked a big fish and he suspects that uh, well, it wasn't a carp, it may, it may have been a catfish and it took him underneath the bridge and that was on a lobworm. Well, I've got worms, but if I hook anything big on my little eight foot leisure rod, don't think I'm gonna land it. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Clive's Fishing Channel. We'll go and have a look at the rods, quick setup, and then away we go. So the way navigation is 15.5 miles long. Parts of it flows into the Thames, into the Godalming and Basingstoke Canal. But there are a lot of fish here. So the first rod, funny enough, I've still got my little antenna float on and I'm not gonna do much trotting because I don't need to. But this little float actually for roach and laying on the bottom will be perfect. So we're going to use that. And I've just got a uh, size 14 hook on the bottom there. Oh, catch on to catch a tree, that wouldn't look so good with it. So we've got a size 14 hook there on the bottom. And I'm going to lay on about, just going to lay on about three inches with that weight laying on and that's about five inches away from the hook might bring it down a bit more with the bread but I've soaked some bread so I've also brought with me um, a small tin of hemp seed because roach do love hemp a lot of fish like hemp but roach in particular so the idea of that is to combine that <clears throat> we're gonna got some bread as you can see already mashed up that's just right actually that'll form a nice cloud small tin of hemp we don't need to feed too heavily this time of year we want to go careful on the feed so we've got some good old hemp seed there and <clears throat> i've also brought some dead rabin of worms and if we don't get any roach we see if we can get some perch and i've got the uh later on but if we start off with the float and see if we can pick up any roach or anything like that you never know we might get a bream or even a small carp so let's start fishing and see how it goes well how about that that boat there and that gentleman has just made me a cup of tomato soup and that's what angling's all about nice people 
we're nice people, most of us. I'm still getting the odd bite like this. But they're very, very tentative. But we'll catch. I know we're going to catch. But this is a worry, 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 worry. <laughs> Welcome sight. Cheers, subscribers. Yeah, have a drink. How's that? Warms you up a bit. I'll tell you what, when I'm drinking this, what's the bedding? The throat's going to go right under and I'm going to miss it. Oh, lovely. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. I'm going to switch my other camera on. Get that running. Just in case. I'm optimistic today, guys. I'm optimistic. It's going to be slow and it's going to be quite hard going, but I th I'm sure we're going to catch. So, so I lost one earlier. I felt it, but it slipped the hook on me. But then when you're using a barbless hook, you know, that's going to happen occasionally. It's to be expected. But this is lovely. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to switch that other camera on. That's better. Oh, I really like a nice, nice big roast today. Would be lovely. I think my bread's probably come off. Yeah. Perhaps. Got seagulls flying around there. Or well, there were. A couple of nice swans over the far side there. Lovely, delightful. So, just using a, uh, just using a small piece of crust. Just putting the hook. It's quite a small hook. I should. Probably go on to a larger one. There we are. Make sure, guys, that the point of the hook showing, won't you? If it's not, you're liable to lose your fish. All right. And I'm only fishing two yards out. Might be able to see when I plop the float in the water. I'm just laying on the bottom by about an inch. The floats settle just nicely there. Keep a few grains of hemp going in. Just behind the float, about a foot, foot and a half behind the float. And a bit more of the uh, mashed up bread. Just a little bit, that's all you need, really. Something like that just forms a cloud. The actual canal itself is a lot clearer than I thought it would be. Um, I wouldn't mind a little bit more colour, but it's okay. It's okay. Just let that sink to the bottom and break up.
Well guys, <laughs> guess what, we haven't blanked, but that has got to be one of the smallest roach I think I've ever caught. Look at that, tiny, tiny little fish, roach in miniature, but hey, we haven't blanked. Pretty little fish. <laughs> right. Gently take the hook out. There we are. And back it goes. <laughs> well, so far. One tiny little roach. It's a bit harder going than I thought it was going to be actually. But I'm still sticking with the roach fishing. Give it another half an hour, we'll never go for the perch. Well, I'll tell you something, guys, it's got a lot colder. Whoa. <clears throat> it's 10 past 1 pm, and the temperature, temperature has dropped a lot. Got really cold now. This is uh, it's getting tougher. Oh, good job I've got plenty of layers on, but yeah, it's really cold. Apart from one tiny little roach, I'll just put the uh, quiver tip rod out for a bit work. See if we can catch a perch. But it is very, very cold. Winter has uh, really arrived. <laughs> We're not giving up yet. There's always a chance, isn't there? With fishing, there's always a chance. I'm still getting the bites on the float, but the bites are so you know, they're so tiny, you just can't hit them. I think they're very, very small fish, to be honest. But the thing with this kind of place, there's probably quite a few species of fish here. In fact, I'm certain of that. <coughs> but I did have a big problem with a lot of leaves on the line. Not easy, not easy. Might be tempted to cast under the bridge. busy railway line, the amount of trains that I've seen going backwards and forwards on that bridge, I thought it'd be fairly quiet today. <laughs> Wrong again. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. This is tough.
Well, it's come just gone quarter past three. I'm getting tiny little bites, but I think they're from fish so small they can't I can't even look them. So done the best I could today guys but it's been really really tough uh, to be honest probably the toughest toughest day so far since I've been back fishing this year there's small fish around there but they're just not really having it today can't say I blame them the temperature has, has gone down so much I need to uh, have a coffee and get warmed up. I think. Got about a 10 minute walk back to the car, which isn't too bad. But about another 20 minutes, it's going to be dark. So, thanks a lot for watching. Let's see what happens maybe next week. Might be next week or the week after. I've got to go and see my mum next week, so it could be the week after that. Um, be nice to get onto the uh, the River Thames. Perhaps have a crack at some some of the big river bream. They fight really well. Uh, maybe get back onto the River Mole. Uh, have a look at that video I did, uh, River of Promise. I really want to get this big chub. So I might have a go, yeah I might have a go for that next Saturday actually, just take some bread down and some worms, perhaps fish the mole again, see if we can get one of the bigger, better fish out. Anyway, thanks a lot, and I'll see you again soon, tight lines, I've got to get warmed up. <laughs> I'm really cold now, my feet, can't feel my feet, they'll probably come off I expect. See you later, guys. Bye.